Welcome back to the channel. You guys remember that box? That box. And I asked you in my last video, can you guess what is the next mod for my GX? And if you didn't guess it, you can see it by the title. It's a snorkel. Oh God, I don't want to do it. But we will do it. I don't want to do it. Mama, no! <laughs> enough, enough with the jokes. Um, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna drill shitload of holes all over the freaking car. We're gonna install the snorkel and take a nap. For this uh, operation, gonna take a couple hours because uh, you gotta finesse a couple things and I'll explain as we go. Uh, some of the parts of installation I won't be able to record uh, because it's gonna be tight fit under the fender or like under and inside of the fender so uh, there is no way to shove the cam there and still work on it uh, once when it's kind of uh, I made a connection and put crap together if I get to that point uh, you guys won't be able to see but I will explain as we go this is what comes in the box that's a snorkel body uh, snorkel head and a big rubbery piece it's uh, a tubing that connects the snorkel with your air box and uh, let me see and in here it's uh, just a bag with a uh, with, with the goodies uh, washers some hose clamps a small metal bracket um, I will explain that a little bit later um, yeah and uh, in this kit if you get it for GX it's gonna come with this piece don't let this spook you is this uh, like a uh, aluminum something something um, that's supposed to go over one portion of your tubing but that's just for a diesel um, diesel engines don't know why uh, because most likely because this is for a Land Cruiser Prado 150 and they do have the diesel uh, four-cylinder engine back in uh, um, land down under good Australian mates so that's all that's pretty much it um, you're gonna need like I, like I said I don't have the, the drill with a hoop with uh, the circle drill thing I just can't get to the terminology, I would put it somewhere on the screen. Uh, so I'm going to try to deal with uh, Dremel, Drill, and I do have um, one of those uh, oscillating tools, maybe that would help, maybe I'm going to use that, I don't know yet, and my angle grinder of course. Uh, where did I have that? And, uh, oh yeah, I almost forgot. And this is just a gasket that you're gonna install like this peel off this is a tape uh, and that's gonna help uh, not the plastic to rub on your um, on your car also uh, it's gonna neutralize vibrations so the snorkel should make any noise or whatnot so and uh, your best friend is gonna be this guy this is the template that comes with the kit that's going to tell you exactly where to uh, drill the holes necessary. All you have to do, basically, you see I spilled the coffee on it. <laughs> uh, you're going to even up this edge on the top and you're going to even up this edge. And once when you do that and you tape this sucker down, that's when you're going to drill. You can see where they marked. Uh, can you see it? Yeah, right there. There's gonna be just the holes for the screws and here there's gonna be that big ass hole in your fender. So if you're ready for that, well, <laughs> make sure that you don't lose this because without this, you're super screwed. Anyway, first thing I'm gonna do, place you guys somewhere so you can be with me. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take some masking tape and we're gonna mask this area so when we start drilling, you know, uh, you know, paint to chip or or whatnot. So that's gonna be a step number one. God, I wish I'm on a step number seven and nine. It means I'll be done with it. Oh, I should open my hood first. 
that would definitely help. Uh, there's going to be uh, some components that you have to take out of this, but I'm going to get you guys through that. You got to take the whole entire uh, air box out, filter and all. You don't have to disconnect everything that way, but from this uh, uh, flange, this piece got to go because you got to go dig in and unscrew and take the box out because you got to do small modification in this box. And also I got to take my fender liner, uh, which according to uh, Land Cruiser videos, it's a pain in the ass. But anyway, let's go do this mask machine. I don't even probably have to go ballistic with the tape all the way here because this is me the uh, area we are cutting. But once again, uh, this is just uh, to, uh, to protect also uh, to measure those holes through that template so it's gonna leave the marks where I where I need to drill. It's really important to get these edges right. So this edge has to sit on the top. As you see I put a small magnet just to kinda uh, hold it in place while I tape it. And my stupid tape still does not want to stick. Hopefully I'm not gonna pay the price later on. Tape is this. You see? Wrong move with the tape and look how, how much from the edge we went off. So alright, that's just about right. I'm using my uh, magnetic flashlight. And trust me guys, if you have a small magnet that would help a lot. So you can align this uh, properly. Um, as you know, my masking tape sucks. Don't buy 3M or model tape. Sucks ass. But um, so I'm working with. Just making sure that everything's in line and kind of tape it. Alright guys, this is what we have so far, um, this thing is marked, so now we're going to take the fender liner, there is a couple 10 millimeter screws that we're going to remove. And, uh, oh crap. A bunch of like, clips that I don't like to take off because they always break. Two ten mils on this side. I'm gonna try work around the camera. All right, and then. You can see these uh, um, I don't know what they are this is breaking up these you gotta take those up and I heard they are pain in the butt but we'll work on them you know if you if you heat them up um, you increase the chance of not breaking them but I'm not gonna go through all that. I'm gonna grab my tool, one of those uh, trim removal pieces, and uh, we're gonna give it a shot with that. Looks like he wants to come out, but then he doesn't. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh boy. Wow. People are alright. You know I gotta put something in this tire. A few days ago I detailed the truck 
and uh, still has that, that dressing on. Alright. Uh, let's see. Get the right tool, get the right tool. Let's see. Damn, these bitches don't want to come out. You know, I've seen it in some videos. They say like, oh yeah, the really hard part of the whole build is take the little pins out. Oh, look how he's breaking. That's not good. That is so not good. Huh. Alright guys, so next update. This is effing unbelievable. I would rather do every single mod that I already did on this car again with one hand instead of taking these clips out. There is a probably 10, 12 of them and you can only take them from behind. There is a spot you cannot get from behind unless I cut sheet metal or uh, bend my chassis or over or, 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 or So right now, I'm just cutting them. I actually took a tool, and I'm cutting them, all of them. Unbelievable. So, just be aware, if you're doing it, I mean, I don't know how these other people do, uh, do they have anything. I thought I figured out the thing with the socket. Worked on some of them, but you have to have a straight clearance, it has to be long socket, and blah, 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 or deep socket. Anyway, sucks ass. I hate it. All right, moving on. We're gonna deal with them stupid clips later. I just can't deal it right now. I'm getting frustrated already and they didn't even start. So uh, what I'm doing now, I have to take my box out, unplug the O2 sensor. You have to undo this clip here. The camera died, I did not even know. So I don't know if you guys missed anything, but um, I took a box off. It's held by a couple bolts. Uh, well, not a whole entire box, just like uh, like the the intake part. Took a filter out, and now we're gonna have these two to take out, so we can get to this uh, box and take that out. And that looks like a 12 millimeter. Probably take this off, make my life easier. <sighs> yeah, I should. <sighs> What's up with the clips? Jeez, why nobody can make a something held by screw anymore? Uh, one more. All right. All right. So we got a box out. Now we gotta remove this thing. We're not gonna need this anymore. Well, this goes relatively easy. There you go. We're not gonna need that. Okay, so see, this is this is the thing about uh, snorkel. Uh, people uh, people always think like, oh yeah, it's uh, for water um, crossing, so the water wouldn't get into your intake. Yeah, has to has to do a lot of with that. But the thing is, this. It's directly above your wheel and what happens with that all the dirt from your tires comes in a direction in this direction all that dirt dust grime uh, you name it so yeah you elevated your air intake for uh, extreme water crossing 
but the main thing with the snorkel is to uh, keep your intake clean as much as clean because you are elevating the intake up so because always have a cold fresh air uh, air in here is heated by the engine plus you see the location of it once when I take a stupid uh, fender liner off I'm gonna show you exactly it's just about the wheel alright I have finally figured out these stupid clips uh, to take them off your fender you're gonna have access to two of them one is here is pretty cool access one is here one is there I just took them out what you gotta do you have to squeeze squeeze these little two tabs on the side but you can only do it from inside of your fender inside of your car which doesn't make any sense so uh, so basically I have to squeeze them from behind so I gotta rip this up go on the uh, on the other side which you can put your hand in it uh, squeeze them and then kinda push them through design sucks period Oh boy, I use, as you see, every single plier known to mankind. God. Alright guys, this is uh, pretty much it. Uh, use a puncher, punch a little indentation. Where my drill gonna go? There is a uh, the hose which is uh, goes from your um, windshield washer bucket to the wipers, and it kind of runs in this direction. So uh, let's start with this one. too small. They have to be a little bit bigger. Yeah, for sure. Because you have to manipulate this guy a little bit left, forward, right, and all that crap. So we're going to go one more step. I should put a little bit of tape. So I don't slip in and make a whole size of a Grand Canyon. Yeah, usually uh, when they give you all these dimensions, uh, everything came in a, a metric like Australia has, millimeters and all that. And uh, I'm from Europe, but <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. This one is 
super stubborn. According to the template, what do I know, right? Oh boy. <laughs> Alright guys, so take these, put a little bit of uh, treadlock and just screw and make sure the, uh, the hole kind of, the hole in the stud points up. That's where you're going to use your Allen key and tighten this up. Don't over tighten them, just snug them. Well, snug them tight. Let's put it that way. This one is for your inner because the circle. This one is for uh, like a, uh, the front one which is oval 
and a small black one that's for your smoke head. So what I'm gonna do, grab this one and you have to like a smush a little bit, like I make an oily and then dig inside and I don't know, shove it on. Can't believe I gotta do these clips again. I broke most of them. Uh, I think I got all these tightened up. We will know when uh, they fell apart. Oh crap, that's gonna be fun. The rubber piece just pops right back in. When you guys tighten up these screws, there's going to be a screw up in here. It's really, really hard to reach. See, and this, this, this happens. Luckily, they all came out. Finally, when I got it, when uh, how it's supposed to be, I remembered I never put the the foam cushioner. <laughs> Son of a bitch! So I have to take everything apart again. Put this uh, little bracket on, and I'm probably going to use some kind of double-sided tape to to do it. I am not drilling my my uh, a pillar. No way. Here, if you make a mistake and you have something bigger or something doesn't fit right, it's fine. You can cover it. You can improvise something, but uh, a pillar, no way. Now, this stupid piece, they said it will help with uh, vibration, noise, reduction, wind, something, I don't know, or just cushions your freaking thing so the... Uh, Crap, don't scratch your car. Oh, damn. My fingers are getting stuck to this sucker. Well, that's good. Better than my stupid tape. I would freaking even hold a piece of paper. Maybe these people should make tape. Check this out. And fits like a glove. Something like that. Alright, let me go put this shit on. Alright guys, welcome back to Painting Ass Project. I am finally done. And I can't believe this. Uh, this shouldn't be this hard, but I guess, you know, uh, it wasn't just my day. I'm still at it. You remember when I started, what was it, 5 something, and it's 139. Only one guy on the YouTube beat me. He did it for three days. Anyway, all I have to do now, get this hose clamp that is kind of fell inside of the abyss. Try to fish her out, get her, get her over the intake, lock her down. And then I have to put uh, all this shit together. Finally done. Holy shit, what a pain. Uh, only thing left to do, clean up and uh, test it to see if I actually did it right. If I actually do, did it right. I, I can't even speak how tired I am. So we're gonna do the garbage bag test. If the sucks in, I mean, it's so good. There you go, and suck it in, so 
thank you uh, for watching. Drop a comments below what you think. I will keep you updated and um, yeah, see you guys soon. Bye bye.